What's up guys, welcome to episode number 6 of Kamui's Career and a very very special episode because we have two races for you today we have the Chinese Grand Prix and the Indian Grand Prix but first we're going to be on the grid for the Chinese Grand Prix and it's a wet race uh, for the first time is it the first time? I cannot remember, it's been a very very long time since the last uh, the last race but we're starting in 18th position, a very very poor qualifying and we're revving up for the five red lights now and we are away for the Chinese Grand Prix we get an absolutely awful start uh, we've actually gone backwards I'm pretty sure off the start we're in 21st place but we're gonna try it now down the middle as uh, we tap that Toro Rosso they're all very very slow going into this snail section and um, obviously the wet conditions aren't helping as we throw our hand up in disgrace and there's a Ferrari, I presume it's Massa, it's <laughs> got to be Massa really. As we're turning our steering wheel so much, we just don't know where we're going, to be honest. And, um, you know, the AI is so OP in um, in China in the wet. So it's going to be very, very difficult to score some points today, but we're actually already up into a point to pay in position. Tenth place, as that's Paul DeResta who gets ahead of us. But we're actually gaining on DeResta on this straight. It's usually the other way around here in China. We're usually being gained on on the straights uh, but we turn it in nicely there and we're actually we're actually had a really really good first lap I'm not quite sure what's happened there but uh, coming to lap three now we're in ninth position still closing into the two McLarens and um, we've got Sergio Perez there in eighth position so we're gonna try and get past him as quickly as possible but uh, we know that it's gonna be difficult to get past these McLarens and uh, we now chuck it down the inside do we yes we do it's a lovely lovely move for eighth position and now it's Jensen Button who we're eyeing up for that seventh place and we're now on the last lap of the race actually so it's uh, not going to be huge points that we're getting today but we chuck it down the inside in the same position and it's seventh place for ourselves and it's very very good stuff at the moment and you know considering that we started 18th it's, oh, it's not really that bad but uh, we're going to try and close into Roman Grosjean not that action packed this race to be honest and you know we got most of the moves done in the first lap so we're going to try and close up to Grosjean as much as we can now but the title is looking very very much out of our reach you never know we might get a race victory somewhere along the way but you know it's just so difficult in this catering and yeah it's probably the worst car to be honest I actually don't think it's as bad as the Marussia you know once you've driven the Marussia in heavy rain around so many circuits <coughs> cough snailed it cough um, <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll get to that probably in the next few days but at the moment we're uh, driving the green machine in the catering I'm gonna try and get all of these episodes out as soon as possible I'll probably put what's what are we now six and seven as we try and dive it down the inside of uh, Grosjean but we end up just playing bumper cars with him as Fernando Alonso takes out the race win. But yeah, this, we, this is episode 6 and 7. I'll probably get 8 and 9 out in the same episode. And episode 10 in an extravaganza, I guess you could say. We come home for 7th place as I get completely sidetracked there. But not too bad in the end, considering we started 18th. And uh, yeah, I don't know what he's doing with the wheel. Uh, but uh, yeah, so seventh place, as I say, Nico Rosberg took fourth position. He is our rival, but obviously we're not going to be taking the seat anyway. And yeah, so pretty interesting race, uh, but pretty straightforward at the top. You know, Alonso Vettel Hamilton, and obviously our teammate is, oh sorry, obviously Max Chilton is propping up the field. There's no surprise there. We held fourth position in the Drivers' Championship. And I was going to say the Constructors' Championship, but that's pretty much the same thing, to be honest, because uh, our teammates aren't going to be scoring any points, is he? Let's be honest. But, yeah, not great, to be honest, as uh, our man looks gutted in the garage. You know, our Japanese driver with his British helmet. But now we get to the next race. It's the uh, Indian Grand Prix. <laughs> I couldn't think where we were then. But spare my blushes, I guess. We're here once again in the catering, obviously. We haven't moved teams, and we're getting straight to the race once more today. No qualifying, and Lewis Hamilton on pole position. We're starting in eighth position, and Charles Peake starting in 21st. It's going to be a very, very interesting race. Where is our driver actually looking? That's a that's an interesting one. You know, he's he's looking at the Airtel sign. He's he's very, very intrigued by it actually, and then he's realised that he's got five red lights to contend with. 
Not anymore. We're away for the Indian Grand Prix. Kobayashi gets a bad start once more, but, you know, we know what's coming at this first corner. It's going to be the dive bomb. Uh, but we actually bear it around the outside that time, which was a lot nicer than, uh, than usual. But we're now coming up to the hairpin. Now, this is the ideal dive bomb opportunity. Up to second place, just behind Sebastian Vettel. And we're now going to try and get him on this straight. We're in his slipstream. We're using all of that curves that we can. Obviously, no DRS because we're only on lap one. The amount of times I've had to say that in every single episode. It just, it's just a great time filler, isn't it? On lap one saying, oh, there's no DRS here. But uh, in the meantime, we've actually caught up to Vettel. And we've actually got him down the inside, have we? We've nearly lost it on the exit. But... Um, We've now got first position as we move to the inside, switch positions with Vettel to get the inside on this corner, and we keep P1. And we've now just got to try and keep it for these next four laps. But at the end of lap three, it's all looking good at the moment. We've got a lovely gap over Vettel as we set the fastest lap of the race. 2.3 seconds ahead of Sebastian which as I'm sure this circuit should be renamed the Sebastian Vettel circuit. He won every single race here, and I don't think we're ever going to get another F1 race here. But can Kamui spoil his party? We're 2.6 ahead now on lap 5, and it's not been a very exciting race at all. But guess what, guys? We come around the final corner, and we're going to take victory for the first time in this series. Kamui Kobayashi wins the Indian Grand Prix. Fantastic stuff. And uh, we've beaten Nico Rosberg, our rival. But like I've said about a billion times now, we're not taking his Mercedes seat. We are going to stay and try and win this world championship in the green machine. Put a comment down below if you think that we can win this driver's championship. I have no idea whether we will or not. We've got three episodes remaining. We've got Japan. We've got Brazil. And I have no idea where the other one is. <laughs> it's somewhere in Asia, I think. Brazil. I've said that. I have no idea where I'm on, what I'm on about. <laughs> but yes, we've won, guys. We've got to make the most of this opportunity. And Kamui Kobayashi is on the top step of the podium. Once more. Well, not once more. For the first ever time, actually. Wow. It's a great episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this slightly longer one. But until next time, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.